Hello, I'm here today to review with you how to get up off the floor. We have to go down to the floor to get up from the floor. This is a great practice to do, um, and the more you do it, the more able you're going to be, the more agile you will become in doing it, not feel so clumsy. Um, the reason I teach this is I'm a balance and mobility instructor for fall proof. And the statistics are that if you ever do fall and it's safe for you to get up, meaning you're, you know what that means, um, it's best. The statistics are that you're going to recover a lot better if you get up. Don't want to lay there on the floor or wherever you fall. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the mat however you need to. You can have a chair nearby. I don't mind practicing with the chair. And I would try to practice this a couple times a day. It only takes a few minutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay flat down, okay, maybe get to the side of your mat and decide, okay, I'm going to roll this way, so I want more of the mat here. And then I'm going to lift the, the leg that's outside, and I'm going to lift the arm here. So what I'm going to be doing is rolling towards you. All right, so this leg is going to help this arms out of the way. So I'm going to roll over because I want to get to all fours. I don't want to try to get up from this position. So if you have fallen and you are on your back, you want to get to the front side to get up. You don't want to try to get up from this position. So you're going to roll over. This leg's helping me. I'm rolling over. This arm's out of the way. Then I'm going to bring it underneath me and push up to all fours. From here, you have a choice. Some people really do not like being on their knees, so this is going to hurt, especially if the floor is hard. So they're going to curl their toes under to get up and use their arm strength more, and then you can walk in. Okay, so that's one way. Or you could come down here, say you're on all fours, and you have great leg strength. You're just going to bring one leg forward, curl the toes under the back leg, here, push up, you can bring yourself up, which would be best than staying down low, and just have a little wider. If you tend to get lightheaded from getting up off the floor, this is where you want to pause. Just pause for a moment, breathe, and then get up. Push, 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 push. All right? So you can definitely use the chair. So if the chair is here, that's a good way to practice or say here, but again, make sure it's not on the surface that's going to slide. So you're going to get up like this if you want to use your legs more, and if you're going to want to use your arms more, you're going to use your arms to walk in. Okay? So practice. This is a great time to get strong in this skill, and it will do a lot of good for you. All right? Build confidence that you can. You can get up from the floor, and it's not so bad, right? <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me.